Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. We are back in our campaign of Pathfinder Kingmaker. And we just had some uh, kingdom stuff done in the last episode. And at the end of the last episode, we got uh, this magazine <laughs> uh, from one of our priests, Jord. It to me, and it is a work of um, Jubilost, who was quite not happy, probably, that we told him we will make him one sh one one head shorter uh, if he's um, not reporting that our kingdom is great. <laughs> and he reports that our kingdom is not great, really. I mean, I, I read it. I don't have to read it again. He's quite cynical all through this uh, thing. <laughs> uh, great. great. Um, this probably starts a mini quest. Don't know. Let's, let's talk to him. What are you jotting down in your notebook all the time? Tell me about yourself. Blah, 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 blah. I have read your article about the barony. How dare you publish such trash? <laughs> trash? Let it be known that this article is one of my finest works. Striking, precise, and exceedingly to the point. You should be proud that your barony inspired such a masterpiece. <laughs> okay this is his I mean, we, we can't kill him <laughs> normally a lawful evil character would at least punish him I mean we could send him away but this is this is I mean it's not worth doing it because he's a really good um, financial expert and we need one I mean we don't need him really because we have now this mage. I don't know even his name, but yeah. Notes on our adventures. Good ideas that come to mind. I don't know how it is with you, but in my case, my mind is constantly producing ideas worth of writing down. Okay, some I used in using my articles and books. Others I will share with the audience next time I speak at Fore Logos in Absalom. Some other thoughts should be kept out of the public view for a while. Our world isn't yet ready to certain revelations. <laughs> what have I come to? Jubilos not trouble, famous explorer, writer, and scientist, reduced to giving simple lessons in history. Very well, ask away. What questions do you have? Mm -hmm. How did gnomes appear in Golarion? Uh, he came here in ancient times from the first world. You do know what the first world is, right? If you don't, ask me about it some other time. I used to lecture on it at a couple of institutes. According to the understanding, I've accumulated the gnomes were an immortal race until some of our especially insightful ancestors came up with a brilliant idea they decided it would be fun to learn how it feels to be mortal. I would like very much to meet those gnomes. I wouldn't even kick them. I'd just look in their eyes without a single word. Too bad they're all long dead by now. <laughs> As everyone knows, a stupid enough idea can be extremely contagious. So the gnomes caught the infection all of them, without a hope for cure. So they found a way to Golarion and decided to settle there. 
and you'll never believe it, they got just what they wanted. They severed their link with the first world. They gained mortality, the bleaching, and a heap of local diseases that have been keeping our race on the verge of extinction, extinction ever since. Gnomes live long, certainly long and happily ever after. Jubilos shakes his head in remorse. We'd live as long as elves, were it not for the blue. That's the curse of our race. We only struck after the gnomes left the first world. To put it simply, gnomes must constantly have new experiences. If a gnome gets into a rut, so to speak, he bleaches. We start to lose color, literally. Our skin and hair become pale, and the worst thing is that our soul loses color too. If the process continues unchecked, the gnome dies. History recalls only a few cases where gnomes actually died of old age. Most of them perish, either because of the bleaching, or in the middle of some crazy adventure. They've joined just to stave it off. So you travel so much as a way to fend off the bleaching. Rudolf stares at you, then nods slowly. You see, I enjoy being alive. I like to eat pancakes in the morning. I like to write articles for magazines. I like it when I leave the publishing house in Absalom and a crowd of fans immediately mobs me. Oh. So I don't intend to die at the peak of my life because of some stupid ancient curse. But don't you dare imagine that everything I do is just for fear of the bleaching. I tell people the truth about the world that surrounds them. My theoretical research aids the development of different branches of science in various institutes. Yes, sooner or later I'll bleach and die, like any other gnome. But the name of the thing, Jubilos not trouble, will live throughout the ages. Okay, he's very self possessed. No, I don't want to learn anything about the first world. We will move there eventually. Okay, so. Yeah, we don't have anything to do, so let's go to one hold and start the second chapter, really. So, um, Okay, what's that? We can sell all of this. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just take Ragonga with us. And you, and you, mm. do we be careful of nice? 
on the other hand we have then a one two three nah take the chef and let's do the what is called the level up of the three new guys that come with me. Oh, four. So, how about you level up as a Magus? Next. You get here, let's take the dexterity, that's okay. And three points here, let's take one here, one here, and one in knowledge. We have another level three spell. Haste, slow, sticking cloud, fireball, displacement. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I never ate you it. Oh, cleric. Next. Uh, probably we could make um, not him, not Aaron, but um, how's his name? Christian. Mm -hmm. The druid. Ooh, we still have the two. Nice. Only two points here, like in law religion. And let's take the second in Well I say persuasion. <laughs> Spell book. We need spells. Um, like hate of dreams. What's that? Yeah, let's do this. Why not? Well, too tired. Probably this is the last thing I'm recording today. Um, that's the restoration, of course. Third level. Like, we've got a blindness here already. Creature within that range. Yeah, why not? Mm hmm. Mm, Therefore. Against death magic. Let's level up the alchemist. Wait, what? Shouldn't be the first uh, um, points in uh, 
Interesting. Uh, blinding bomb. Hmm. Why not? Interesting, it's only here. Hmm. Let's put one into intelligence and one here, 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 and here. And one in here and here. And also, why not? Okay, um, okay, we get another level three spell. Um, shape, nah, reason. Communal. Hmm. Why not? I'll remove blindness. Nah. Uh, 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 uh. Inside here, mm -hmm. hmm. <laughs> Displacement, this is on you? Yeah. Let's do this. I don't think that we will need the displacement for you. Level up shit, so... What's this? Second. Eighth level, whenever an Inquisitor uses a judgment ability, this sheet makes two different judgments instead of one. Hmm, nice. What's that? Death Embrace. At eighth level, you heal damage instead of taking damage from channel negative energy. Channel negative energy targets undead. You heal hit points. Undead in zero. Area. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Let's put one point into wisdom. And one, one, one. One in use magic device. And one in. Have a free spell. Okay. Protect you from energy. Hmm. So that's that. 
Let's move into the, the direction of Barnhold. That's somewhere here. So... Let's cross the river. And let's move there. Hmm, there is the big silver footage. Okay, random encounter. That's not random because I can't evade it. Hmm. I know there are scripted random encounters that we just with them. Hmm, 88 hit points, that's not too much. There's a lot of with them. Hmm. I'm listening. Any fun to be had? Patience. My skills are getting rusty. Mm -hmm. Speak. I always have the upper hand. Doing anything? Share your will. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could animate. Okay. I do things my way. I'll loot your corpse. Let's do this. Uh, we don't have Ekon Dayo with us. Oh no! I'm restless. Yeah, well done. Attack. Well, sorry, just lost your thought. Oh, take kill the goblin. Okay. We lost, um... These are blinding points. Okay. Um. So, Marim, what are you doing? I mean, you could do the prayer. Go much more up side. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, careful. We're doing the charge to justice. And... And 
want to put it here. And then you just attack. Okay. I'm rather tired. But at least the uh, skeletons are fighting for themselves. Okay. Really? Did it back out? Okay, um... Let's just send a normal bomb there. Okay, um... Just kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you killed. Nice. Hmm. Interesting. Can we attack? Okay, um, you're not able to charge. What's that? Um, I have blindness. Eh, uh, fortitude. Fourteen. <sighs> Wretched thing. Okay. Skeletons move on. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Let's see. Okay. Um are there any enemies? Let's take this. I'll cut you. Yeah, do this. Not the bad stuff. 
Okay. Da. Let's um, um, everything. Mm. At least we got some ribbon meat. Okay, my friends, I will stop for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time soon. Until then, bye.